All right, guys, welcome to the podcast for Tuesday. Oh. Uh, let's oh. do the date this year, January 24. I mean, obviously, you can listen to podcasts at any time, but you know, sometimes if you've got it on shuffle or something, like what, what well, era is tonight. this? <laughs> yeah, hello, me, listening later. Hello. <laughs> Laying in bed. <laughs> it's a little, little gag for myself. Were you chuckling no, or were you crying <laughs> like you did yesterday in your sleep? Oh, I sob in my sleep. I didn't oh. sob in my sleep last night. Last night, I had a dream. I forgot what it's about. Hmm. There's nothing better than hearing people half be able to tell their dream stories. Well, I had a dream the other night that all my teeth crumbled, and that <gasps> means something. Well, that's happened that to me. That means something. That happened to me what? in year four when a, an unnamed lady pulled the seat out from under me in a classroom, <gasps> and my, <gasps> my top front four teeth hit the desk what? and crumbled in my mouth. I'll never forget the feeling. Yeah. How oh old were you God. again? So, because in year four, so they were my kind of adult teeth. Oh my goodness! So, you got a so are they? Are they? Um... Oh, the, the front two have like caps or crowns, whatever yeah. you call it. Yeah, and these two have just been smoothed out a little bit. Oh my goodness! Yes, oh, wow. quite the feeling. No one mm. knew what to do. <laughs> my friend just had her big front adult tooth mm. chip, and she just had it had to have it all pulled. Out. She came back from holidays and had to go to work, and she had like no tooth. Oh, it's the worst. oh holy shit! That is the worst <laughs> pain in the world. I know. Because, like you a, know... She looked like a pirate. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> when I was like 18, because I think before you get older, they have to kind of cap it a little bit temporarily. Yeah. I was just eating an apple and then bang, <gasps> came out. So I looked like a pirate <gasps> for two weeks. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. What's the guy with your gold tooth? That was a root canal. Oh. Can you show me? Yeah. Oh, wow. You yeah. don't know he's got a gold tooth. That's fun. Yeah. Wow. It's really fun. It's, it feels so nice, even still. Does it? Oh, my God. Does it Do you smooth? like super brush it? Like that. Just like, like Yeah. Do you hand brush or, or electric brush? Hand. Or is that a bit too personal? I oh, electric brush, but hand brush on holidays. I don't like those little, tiny little knob. I hate tiny knobs. Brush. Yeah. The little things. Yeah, you know, I like it. You just stand there like... Yeah, no, I'm, 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 like I'm with you. I'm electric brush. Yeah, but what about really? manual brush on holidays, though? Cause I'm manual brush on holidays. Oh, I don't like, brush on holidays. I'm just holidays. chilling. You're walking around just like... <laughs> you you should brush on holidays. Things you do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or what, go to New York and be fabulous. What was that thing that you were wearing the on your head? I thought it would be. Oh, that huge hat. That, that was, was that's, ridiculous. That's a beanie. That was a beanie. Like it. That was, it was it's, ridiculous. It's style. It's from. It's by Bodhi or Bodhi. I, lo- I, I don't love that you said that you waited until the very last day of your holiday to wear it because you you had to work up the courage to put. I had to, to work up the it courage. On your head. I know. I popped it on my head and then flew all the way back to Perth with that in my carry-on bag. And then my mum. I went straight to a Christmas Eve function with my parents. My mum mm. pulled it out of my bag and walked around making fun of me. Oh, Jenny. She's really been on the tear lately. Because well, I think Julie Goodman looks at that and gets PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks it's that crock and bush thing. That Can she we to... talk about how often <laughs> Julie know. Goodwin's hosting the project at the moment? Like, it's I just... Haven't hel- seen that. I love Is Julie she? Goodwin. Ho- like, ho- hang on, wait, wait, wait. Hosting no, okay. the project? Okay, she's not well, like she's doing on the, ca- the Carrie spot or the Sarah Harris spot. No, she's on the panel. But And I love Julie Goodwin, but I just think it's funny, like I, I, getting Julie Goodwin's hot take on an array of, of topics. <laughs> what does she think about Germany not giving Ukraine tanks? <laughs> well, you have to tune in tonight at 6.30 to find out. Really? Is she actually on this week? No, I think she does Fridays. You know, uh, the the rotating, not. like, come on, guys. <laughs> just pick, pick a cast. I just wouldn't have thought Julie would be on that panel. I think she's still on her master chef contract. You know, (laughs) she's still got some hours to clock up on Channel 10. She signed a contract for 58 years on her first audition. (laughs) They'll get (laughs) you. That is so funny and so true. It's so true. It's funny because it's true. She does the catering for Survivor and (laughs) and has to host the project every Friday. Until she 2042. is such a delight. <laughs> I was texting person. her. <laughs> I was texting her on Christmas Day how to make a steamed Christmas pudding, and she was replying. And she, meanwhile, what? she probably got four, she got four hundred kids. Yeah, at you her could place. Google it too. You're just being a little bit up yourself doing that stuff. It's like oh, me yeah, texting so Matt. I, can... Ma- I need to ask. I don't, Jules. I don't text Matt Moran to see how to make a tartata. When you could just Google um. it. I, no, no, because a steam pudding's pretty specific. I, I, I want oh, okay. some did real world. Did you put it out to your Instagram as well? I oh, don't. You put it out to I your did. Instagram because you did. <laughs> no, I put it out. I think I put it out to my green Instagram stories. Which mm, you're on thin ice, Ricky. You might be hey, I'm them. always, <laughs> I'm always really scared thin about ice. doing that close friends thing. Because I'm scared that well, I'll say do, something. Because what I say to, to my friends? actual friends is one thing, and what I say enemies. publicly is the other. Can you get like an enemies tag for your quotes? <laughs> so we don't have to say this. 
I'm going to send them all to you. You know how you send me a million Family Guy memes? Yeah, they're Videos, brilliant. or they're not memes, they're videos. Yeah, they're I'm going to start sending you just quotes all the time, just, all day. Just quickly, um, there's 7,850,000 results for Steam putting <laughs> on Google. In so. three <laughs> seconds. Yeah, but... Enjoy you know, today's it's... podcast. Oh. <laughs> This is Kate, Tim and Joel. Everyone's here and accounted for. Present. Like, because you'd start, you'd go, one, two, three. Live around the country. Take to the place I love. Let's get in there. Let's make some radio. Hanging out with friends again. Whoa. Today I feel like. Kate, Tim and Joel. Best day ever. This is the radio. On the wireless. Oh, yeah. Uh, here we go. Like oh. the biggest balls in the room at the same time. Big balls. Oh. <laughs> I like it. Hi, guys. Welcome to a sunny Tuesday. I mean, it's just sunny oh, in our minds. It's you know. really sunny, but it's sunny outside here in Sydney. Mm, well, it's sunny everywhere except for uh, oh, Melbourne. Oh, oh Melbourne. Oh, Melbourne. On brand, though. It's sunny here in Perth, although I'm not in feeling very sunny today. You look um, very sunny. Why? Well, my mother, because I'm staying with my parents while I'm filming this documentary in Perth. You're at Nova 937, <laughs> by the way. I'm currently in Subiaco, staring at Chutney Mary's. and <laughs> um, Yeah, I know. And my mum made me get out of bed this morning <gasps> and go for a run. What a bad... I know, right? Like, forced me out the house like she was AJ Rochester and I was on The Biggest Loser. That's not a reference that anyone wants, I don't think. (laughs) How long did you use Michelle Bridges or something? Well, I went and hid down by the river and then walked back. (laughs) With a dome coffee and a free hound. Oh, yeah, huge (laughs) litre of milk. That's probably why I put on so much weight. I love going for a run and getting like a cheeky sausage roll or something. (laughs) (laughs) Run and eat. Yeah. Um, you need a snack right. sometimes. You get a bit tired. You get a bit tired. I like walking to food. True. Like walking or running to food or having yeah. a result. And then getting an Uber home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, you know what I love? My favourite thing in the world is walking to the pub. Yes. I'm serious. Oh, of course. If you walk to the pub, I'm like, this is going to be a great walk. Yeah. And then stumbling and then, home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Black as is here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> The heat's gotten to me in Perth, sorry. Yeah, and also, um, you've just learned how to smile for the first time again today. How's your sad sack show what are going? What talking about? <laughs> no, it's a very serious show about dogs in pounds. I'm showing a different mm. side to myself. Oh, which emotional. side, the left or the right? <laughs> well, according the front to my mother, too many sides. Because <laughs> I'm a big fatty boomba, according to my mum. <laughs> oh, that's not true. Your, well, your, just, mate, uh, your healthy dinner dark. last night. Joel sent me a photo of his healthy dinner last I'm so night. so glad he didn't send me that. <laughs> I what, know, what, what I was your healthy to, dinner? A coffee? Well, Rick, Ricky Lee gave me... No, I didn't have sausage last night. Ricky gave me a cucumber salad recipe. You still that obsessed with that from last year? I love year. it so much. With the sesame seeds on it? Yeah, I eat it for dinner all the time. <laughs> I love it. And I drink, I drink a huge bowl of sauce. Do it again. What is it? Go. Because you're obsessed with telling The cucumber? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are. It's like quotes on your Instagram. It's yeah. like the cucumber salad is to you what the juice is yeah. to me. I bet you even Megan Trainer knows about this cucumber <laughs> salad. That's why Harry Connick left the country yeah, so I quickly. Like, she doesn't shut up yeah, about this cucumber story. Shut up. No, no, give us tell, the I don't want to tell you now. No, you, no, tell you, us. Des- you desperately do. <laughs> I really love it. I'm yeah, obsessed yeah, yeah. with it. It's, it's just um, oh, equal parts. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> equal parts. You were about to say equal parts. Equal parts, oh, soy sauce and rice wine vinegar, a bit of sesame oil, a bit of garlic and some uh, chilli flakes. It's delicious. Yum, 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 yum. That was a great countdown. Thank you. It is actually yum. Kate, Tim and Joel. Ham flowers. <laughs> One for the charcuterie love lovers. <laughs> People are loving this. Love a good moment. ham flower. I made so many ham flowers over the break. How, what's Did your you? technique? So you put a little bit of ham over your fist. Yeah. Like that, and then you go. And then you just mould it up oh. like that. And you go, there you go. And then you get people to eat it out of your hand. Serve it from your hand. Yeah, of course. That's real fancy. Real room temperature. Yeah. That's like farm I bought a chopping, table. New, new like charcuterie chopping board the other day. Yeah. From a men's, from a men's shed. That oh, what's that? that sentence? <laughs> Do you know what a men's shed is? No. <laughs> I went to a men's shed. What Have is you it? ever been? It's a place for I'm going to generalise, but older men to go and make woodwork. Old gay sauna. <laughs> No, it's like actually a men's shed. Like the men in there just drill oh, drill stuff. That's probably not the right term. Oh, like it is a ghost. Yeah, yeah, no, are they? Um, Here's they, the first they, review. What Ready? Do they, do? <laughs> they, <laughs> they make wooden. They make wood. They make wooden stuff. So they bought a, a nice wooden. <laughs> 
They get wood, they make it, they the, drill it. The Julia Gillard's um, ex-husband used to be the ambassador of? Wasn't he a hairdresser? He's a hairdresser. Yeah, so ambassador of. You guys are ambassador <laughs> for 58 things that you're not. <laughs> All the things that I endorse, I am proud Same. to endorse. Oh, yeah. I only, mm-hmm. I only work with brands that align with my brand. Yeah, of course. <laughs> How is long jeans going? Yeah. No, what is... I, I'm pretty sure um, Tim, his name was, I think. Um, Tim... Not yeah, Gil- Tim. Not Tim Gillard. Gillard. <laughs> no, it wasn't Tim Gillard. <laughs> Tim Matho. Tim. Matheson. James Matheson's oh, father. Oh, his, his <laughs> uncle. Uncle Matho. Oh, he's still a patron of the strong. mansion. There you go. Are you serious? Well, now, <laughs> now you know. <laughs> you have to watch my documentary to find out more. So anyway, you bought a... Oh, you did it for the documentary, did you? I didn't know. I didn't buy it on air on the documentary. This is not me just going around shopping on this documentary. Really? But have, just... What are your per diems? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. No, but seriously, what are they? <laughs> I actually you know, don't know if I'm getting per diems Because you know what? Ricky and I are paying for this show because it's taxpayer dollars. Um, oh, oh yeah, because it's on the ABC. Um, I don't think I have per diems, taxpayers. It's just me. It would be the union. You'd have to, wouldn't you? Oh, well, maybe I do. I don't know. I'm not sure. Read your contract, All I think about all day is coming in here to Nova and broadcasting great radio. Mm. Did you touch an electric (laughs) fence today? (laughs) (laughs) What is wrong? This is my hairstyle by the hair and makeup artist. Your your hair today is saying, hey! (laughs) I've been to the men's shed. Like a peacock that's been frightened. (laughs) Is it really? I don't know. Um, you know what it worked out? Not doing the three o'clock hour means Mary. that we have no warm up bit where we have to get to know this each other. This is it. This, <laughs> is, it. this is it. Are we on? Are we live right We're now? Live. I oh know. my god. Well, I'm in Perth. It's one p.m. It feels ridiculous. Hello, Nova nine three seven. How are Nathan, Nat, and Sean going? Well, I'm on the opposite side of the day to them, um, but I am sitting in Nat- Natalie's chair. Have you still got a nice cute blanket? Her crochet blanket's on the floor. Crochet blanket, sorry. Crochet. On the floor. <laughs> well, I'm very crochet <laughs> with you. <laughs> <laughs> I watch Sunrise with Nat and Crochet. Uh, it's on the floor. Is that pork crochet? <laughs> 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 so stupid, but they so no, they do a very good job here in Perth at night. Nine through seven. Yeah, mm. don't be patronising about it. They, well, they've do. given me chocolate biscuits today. <laughs> don't tell my mum. And also look at the social. We'll have a look. Check yeah, out Joel's reaction to the. He's the first person to ever see an Oreo. That was like love at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you need to find yourself someone who lo- who looks. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> Do you want to go out? And go? We need a warm up hour, is what you're saying. I, know, I can't speak to that. We need a warm up hour. What are we going to do? Maybe we'll come on at 10 a.m. to warm up. Oh. Kate, Tim, and Joel. We love that. It's Robin Schultz with Oliver Tree. Miss you. Gosh, that's a good song. Gosh, it is, Ricky. Gosh. Gosh, damn it. Oliver Tree, known for other hits as. Right. He's so good. You've got to get into Oliver Tree. Oh, I, have I haven't heard of Oliver Tree until 24 hours ago, and now he's really sticking around. Well, now you're back on radio, and you can start getting some you know, some info about music. What like, have you, you know, been listening to after the break? Silence. Oh, you know, I don't listen to anything when I'm on my own. What? Like I, listen, I like silence. I love silence. You don't I love like being alone in on? silence. No. When I drive home after this show, I drive home in silence or on the phone to my manager. <laughs> that, that wouldn't be silent. I think you and Mel. My God. <laughs> <laughs> Windows up. <laughs> <laughs> See, I hate loose. silence. I'm the complete opposite. Yeah. All right, we've got radios in every room. Not always on. I've got a record player going. Sometimes the TV on, but sometimes I'm mute with news on. But what about bed like, What about when you go to bed? Yeah. What's the, what's the how do you deal with the silence when you go to bed at night? Oh, uh, it's not very silent in my area. So, oh, oh, so a bit of rumpy pumpy. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I live in a swingers house. <laughs> right, keep it down, Jared. Someone's going to get up, get up in the morning. Sometimes your keys. It's your night. I live in a men's shed. <laughs> I wish. But what's your internal monologue? Thirteen, twenty, four, ten. We've discussed this many times in different ways. I think um, about a year or two ago, there was a story about there's some people with an internal narrator, like a like not their voice. Well, yeah, I think it is their voice, but they're narrating their life. Oh, I think I fall into the other category, whatever that one was, where I don't have a narrator. Mm. I but have what's a narrator. in your head when you think? Pardon? <laughs> no, it's a very hard question what's to answer. What's going on in your head? Like when you read Nova, Kate, Tim and Joel, in your head, yeah. what do you hear? Nova's Kate, Nova, Kate, Tim and Joel. With your voice though? Yeah, I'd say so. You'd say so? Like try it and let me know. <laughs> like what's in your head when you look at me? 
Oh, no, actually, don't answer. can't say that on air. <laughs> oh, no, don't answer. No, you I know, it might, it, but it's not very nice. No, it goes, dig a dum The grinder noise. dig a dum dig a dum Well, there's a woman named Kristen Carlson who does not have an internal monologue. She was. I saw this video this morning where she, she was telling this guy who could not wrap his head around it. Mm-hmm. She does not have a voice in her head that when she's reading or anything like that, that's saying the words when she's got what her you, mouth. Why do you use when you're reading as an example? Because when you're reading, you're just well, reading words. Shouldn't yeah, it be but about... when you read, and it, it, was, yeah. it was really, it took a long time. I had to watch this like three times. Okay. When she reads, all she can, she just sees the words and they're in like a little, a little concept map. But she's not hearing the words back in her mind. Oh yeah, I've heard that with speed readers. They can yeah. glance at the word. Yeah, and she can oh. she can she said she can read really fast. Yes. But yeah, she doesn't hear anything. So she doesn't like daydream. She doesn't sit in the shower and just like think about the day. She just does not have Sounds an like internal show off. <laughs> I don't know if I do then. Because it's hard. I don't think you do. We've had this conversation before. I don't think you have an internal monologue. I don't think I do. But I feel like you I think have I've lots got stuff of stuff going on, though. and a lot going on. Oh yeah, you... I've got ideas. I always yeah. have ideas. But yeah. you fall I come asleep in here immediately. And I come in here and watch. None of them come to fruition. <laughs> 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 but you fall asleep immediately every night, and that tells me you don't have an internal monologue. Whereas mine got I'm when I quick. my head touches oh. the pillow. It's like, you suck, you suck. Oh, my God, the way you ordered that coffee today was so lame. Oh, so you, like, like replay things in your head and, and overanalyze yeah. and do all that kind of stuff. But my narrator is brutal. Is like, your narrator like... your voice? I think so. Or is it Eva Mendes? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, darkness, my This is the sound of silence. This is you. <laughs> I, 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 I have think a... it's Eva Mendes. What do you think you're doing there, man? I would love that. <laughs> Oh, that'd be nice. Because in my f- head, my voice doesn't sound like this. People always think I've put my, my put my voice on. I'm like, I, I have to live with it. Because yeah, it's just, not a nice voice. Maybe you should get Eva Mendes because the only reason she's in front of mind for me is because she's, sexy she's in Sydney at the moment, losing her mind, bored out of her brain while Ryan Gosling's working. Yeah, because she she's just it. posting photos of like kitchen cloths and stuff. Oh, really? Oh, I don't follow God. her. Oh, it's so follow funny. Her. She's so I can she's get a like, glimpse of Ryan. A role. <laughs> Has she been to Guzmán Gomez yet? Or? Well, that's racist. Well, she could go <laughs> no, anywhere. I'm just thinking of an Australian franchise. Knackers. <laughs> Uh, Matt, so no, Matt is American. I know. Love ya. Thanks, Ava. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, the manager's onto it. She can do mm. a, um, a spawn con for a burrito bowl. <laughs> yeah, boost juice. <laughs> yeah. Um, she all likes right. That. Um, yeah, but sometimes when I lay in bed, I think about things, but I don't. It doesn't take long. See, I have a real mm. skill. I think this is like okay. my That's most, the best thing. Singing. No, <laughs> I can sit and not think about one thing. But how do you know you're not thinking about one Because I don't thing? think, I will literally sit there and just stare at a wall and all I think or see is wall. I don't have, that right now? I don't have okay, like, let me a, try, let or me like try. some, you, you, some, I might be in a conversation and literally all I can say is, oh, awesome. And I don't, <laughs> I don't have the follow Oh, like when a quick draw guest comes in. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're getting better at that. Because we worked what? out Ricky's so used to being interviewed. Yes, I'm not. I mean, I <laughs> no questions. Yeah, she's like, nah, nothing. I go, I just not look, interested. I, I give the beadiest eyes to Tim. I'm like, if my eyes, if my eyes could talk, they'd be like, <laughs> As I said yesterday, to be fair, some of our quick draw guests last year, I, we didn't really know. Well, thank God we're not on this Thursday because I'll be like, that, that's like, one day off for you guys. Don't worry about getting the guests. <laughs> Did you write to Anthony Albanese to make Australia Day Thursday? <laughs> <laughs> not that you can do that. Obviously, everyone's got different opinions. I get it. It's a joke. Um, Annabelle, um, what's your internal monologue? I don't have an internal monologue. Yes, yeah, girl. I think I'm with you. Oh my god, I'm so jealous. Yes. So are you like? Same kind of, yeah. Are you like this woman? And when you're, I, I just keep coming back to the book thing. When you read a book, do you just see the words, but you don't hear them? Well, I don't. I don't even know if I see the words. So I'm actually more creative, I guess, like a creative personality, and I actually see pictures in my head. Okay. I see. So it's like so a scene. That's probably the best way to explain it. We had, I actually had a very similar conversation with my husband about this a couple months ago, and he explained that he hears words in his head, and it blew my mind because I thought he was odd. <laughs> that's weird to you, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's so bizarre. So he obviously is like a critical thinker and thinks in like, like we, we obviously had to think about an example for this. So I was like, oh how do you count? And he's like, I literally like hear the words in my head as I'm counting. And I'm like, okay, well, I see pictures. So no, no, no. What do you see? A picture of a number one? I'll see a picture. No, no, no. Like I'll literally, like if I'm thinking about going to get a piece of fruit and I'm grabbing one for me and 
him, I will go get, like, I'll think of two apples. Like, I'm, like, thinking of a picture of two apples when I'm going oh, I'm to get. So like, no, I'm no, so no, confused. I'm so confused. My internal monologue is going crazy right now. Yeah, my <laughs> eyes are so cross-eyed currently. My internal <laughs> monologue like, fade her down. <laughs> <laughs> And so I did. Um, <laughs> I listened to, listen to the voices in my head, Your Honour. <laughs> I don't confused. know. I, you know what? I have to go away. Like, this is not a good environment. I have to go away and report back to how I think, I think. Because I think I do hear words in my head sometimes. Yeah. Like, isn't and that you're normal? having a shower. Do you I hit- hate showers. They're so boring. <laughs> oh, oh you, do you have God. like a three-second shower just getting get real out? Quick. I have cold showers over summer. So bang, bang. Oh, sh- I have oh, asking about this morning. Like... You didn't shower this morning. Was, yeah, what did you do this did morning? You... How many times we, did you hit the water this I morning? Have a couple yeah. of dips. Have a couple of dips. Just, yeah, a little dip this Call morning, did you? Call me Crackers. Have a couple of dips. Uh, <laughs> 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 had a little dip and used my Y-bells. <laughs> yeah, of course, mate. Oh, I love yeah. a Y-bell workout. It's summer in Australia. Let Are you an ambassador in. for Y Bells? I'm not, but I'd like to be. Very Thank versatile. You are the body well, you of are looking Y-Bell. good at the moment. Thank you, um, Amanda. Hot little thing. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm got like your big chocolate biscuit. <laughs> oh, you are. I want to dunk you in a delicious cup of tea. Just check out Joel's face on our mm-hmm. social. Amanda, your internal monologue, please. What's it about? My internal monologue mm. is: I spend all day thinking, what would my dog respond to this? <laughs> and I'll be like deep in conversation with somebody else. And I'll just try to think of it from my dog's perspective and think, I, you can't articulate your words, but I'll try to do it for you and I'll just find myself just staring blankly at somebody. Oh, Amanda, what? I'm doing a documentary for the ABC all about oh, dogs and you're just going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> I got it in, I got it in. <laughs> Kate, Tim and Joel, driving you home on Nova. A little bit of Elvis. Why not? Put a, well, it relates to my story about Elvis, but not actually not the actual Elvis, a different Elvis. Yeah. Um, a sailor, in fact, named Elvis, a seaman. He was rescued by the <laughs> Colombian <laughs> Navy. From the men's uh, shed? Yeah, he's direct from the men's shed. Um, he was rescued by the Colombian Navy after being lost at sea for 24 days. Yes. Good on the Colombian Navy. Very alert. Oh, they are. Um, no sleep for those guys. No, no. <laughs> round the what clock that's they were. Like. No sleep. 26 days. At 24 sea. days. Yes, or 24 yeah. days. Yeah. He spent 24 days at sea with no sight of land and lived off eating ketchup and garlic powder. Did you say ketchup? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't sing along because I'm in Perth. Thank you. I love that song. Lost I know ketchup. you do. I said, hey, mm. ha, oh. a hey, a habit or a habit or a habit. You know, I'm a hobby and the boogie and the bibber to be. Love ya. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. My God. Get you know, it, Joel. Oh, Axel Rose singing at Lisa Marie. Speaking of Elvis. Yes. Lisa Marie Presley's uh, funeral. Yes. What a weird guests there. Fergie was there. Not um, Black Eyed Peas Fergie, but Princess Fergie or whatever her name is. I don't know which one Duchess? would be weirder. I think what the is Duchess she called? Is well, is well, at least, at least Fergie, called? the singer, was a singer like Lisa Marie was. Yeah, but like, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, but remember Fergie when she married Michael Jackson. Yes, I thought that Wait, was amazing. I thought it was so like the king's yeah. daughter. Do you reckon that was a publicity stunt? <laughs> no. Which Fergie married Michael Jackson? No, no. Lisa Marie <laughs> Presley. Lisa Marie. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> and then Axel Rose sang "November Rain." And it's hard to hold. I mean, to get him to turn up anywhere is a massive feat, so he must really love Lisa Marie. I mean, you know. He looks fresh. <laughs> well, he does. Oh, he my does God. Looks... A doubt. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ah. Uh. That's, uh. a, that's a face. A Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> <Hey-hoo>. <laughs> hello, kiddies. <laughs> I'm a nanny. Kate, Tim and Joel. Oh, Posty, Mark Morrison. Uh, you know, Post Malone's here, I guess, this week, technically, with the Chili Peppers. The return of the oh, Mac. welcome, Mr. Malone. Have, have you seen that photo of him? Because, you know, when you ring me, Ricky, your photo from your yearbook comes up. Oh, yeah. And there was a photo from Post Malone's uh, yearbook. Yeah. This is like pre-Malone. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> but fun. how, how old is he? <laughs> Who are you asking? Oh, you. He's doing, ask, ask you know people. everything. I, oh, no, it's Alexa, isn't it? Yeah, that's oh, it. Hi Alexa. Hey Alexa. Alexa's having a nap. Maybe it's. Hi Alexa. How old's Post Malone? 
27. Post Malone is 27 years old. Would you oh. like to hear where Post Malone was born? No, no thanks. Otherwise, I would have asked this where is going to be the, be the photo that comes up when you call me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my tits, my game. No. <laughs> Can I put that on Instagram, by the way? Okay, let me have a look. <laughs> what is it? What's the photo? <laughs> Tim put a couple of little tennis balls under his shirt and like, gave a little pose to me. Oh, that's nice. That's I, pretend, I was Good pretending game. I had boobs. Yeah, but you pulled the waist in of your top, which really accentuated oh, your yeah, boobs. Of I wanted to be chesty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I, I don't want to. I want everyone to know what's going on under there. You yeah, know? yeah. Oh wow, well, no you, false you wear enough unbuttoned shirts that everyone does get to see that. You all say that. I'm wearing. T- I wear t-shirts 99 percent of the time. Well, when you yeah, wear but... a when you wear a button up, it's not buttoned up. No, you like that, that one button's like doing all the work. Yeah, it's like the it's one like, down woo-hoo! the belly button, and then the rest mm. are just wide open. I saw someone yeah. in the city today um, when I was getting my mm. bar me because I'm multicultural for oh, lunch, yeah. and um, a bloke had like top two buttons done up, and then the rest undone with his shorts. Oh, see, that's backwards. It's ridiculous. No, did he have a good body though? I don't know. Was he wearing he? booty shorts with it? Because that would make sense. He was one of Joel's men's shorts. Yeah, he guys. would be wearing booty shorts. Oh, so was it stylish? Yeah, but not. Was like, it intentional? Like Were they ripped friends, denim shorts? Get? Like, that's the most oh. up yourself tuck ever. I tried to do that today when I when I came in, but then I just it was really accentuating my gut. So <laughs> Bree, Bree just said he had ugly shoes on. Bree's t- texting in from Thailand, Bree. is she? Bree's in Thailand. Bree's listening. The Nova player's working again in Thailand. Oh, that's good. Have we heard from her because like, she's, the show started. Are the planes running yet, Bree, or are you still stuck there? She did Thai cooking weeks. school. What do you <laughs> do at Thai oh. cooking school? Green curry? Oh, I would love hard to do for, that. Hard for some. I made my own coconut milk in Thailand. How? <laughs> it was, actually. It was for getaway. It was actually real hard work. I was sitting next to a lady on the plane recently, and um, up the up the fancy end of the plane. And oh, were you the, lost? I was lost. It was a real treat. And the lady treat. next to me got her her Thai treat green for our curry. Agent. <laughs> no, it was like it was a work it was a work job. It was only between Melbourne and Sydney. And um, the work job and you're the, on currently though. Was it the ABC thing? No, no, no. no. Okay. No, it was. I was broadcasting Radio Man. I was probably coming up to listen to Ed Sheeran's new song or something. <laughs> and um, and the lady next to me got a Thai green curry, and she'd obviously got an upgrade. And she kept going, "Oh, can I send that back to my friend? Um, she loves Thai green curry." <laughs> and I thought that's just a hilarious thing. But she kept saying it over. And over it's her favourite meal. Can she please have it? She loves Thai green curry. I was like, "Grow up! Yeah. Like, grow up! We're in the sky. With like, the just eat Thai green curry." <laughs> It's her favourite meal. No one meal. loves dicing up chicken breast and putting it into a Thai grade curry pre-mix than Erin. <laughs> <laughs> wow, someone's really living on their own. <laughs> you go, girl, Erin. You get Aaron, one you chicken get breast? No, you can't actually. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> Every chicken breast pack comes in too, just to show you how you have to freeze the other one. It's quite annoying. <laughs> or those when you have to get those value packs, the really ginormous ones and there's like 50 and then you have to freeze them and then you never remember to, <laughs> to take them out and defrost them so they just live in there forever and then you end up having to just throw them out. Nothing sadder than buying chicken. <laughs> like the what bachelor, do you mean? The what do you mean? Buying chicken, you should buy things that are like, buying chicken's sad, don't you reckon? Uh, why? Oh, why? Oh, just four chicken thighs, thanks. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, we know what, I don't like five. What do you eat? What do you eat? Organic spinach leaves. It's just funny. Don't Kale you think chips. Chicken? Don't you think buying chicken How is about funny? That, I buy chicken that every ba- day. I don't know what's funny about it. It's like a whole animal, like barbecued for like four bucks. Oh, it is oh, like wild how cheap it is. Chicken. Oh, I love any, eating any, this any, bachelor's any, handbag. Yeah, any bachelor's chicken is just handbag. And that was the word of the year. I was like, mate, we've been saying that for, for well, I was going to say years. I've only been on this show for two and a half years. But yeah. you know that you know bachelor, bachelor's <laughs> handbag <laughs> and pensioner's laptop. That was my favourite. That's the pokey. It's pensioner's laptop. <laughs> oh, that's oh. funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, see, that'll be this year's. Oh. They listen to this show and copy us. All right. What you know do you who, mean? You know who, does, who doesn't listen to this show? Joel, because he got one of our biggest segments <laughs> name wrong. And he's going to do it next. <laughs> Am I? It's not in the sheet. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's not in the sheet. Yeah, it is. Oh, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Kate, Tim and Joel. It's time for I was today years old when... Say what? Or as Joel calls it... <laughs> What did I call it? <laughs> Yesterday when you were telling us, you were really, you said it really emphatically. Yeah. Oh, I was, I was this year's old when? 
Yeah, I'd never know the name of this segment, and <laughs> I should know this. Today is old. Oh, we did it. I should One know this. Oh. Today is old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lucas Graham and Carl Stefanovic, my two loves. Beautiful. Oh, Carlos. I <laughs> listen to the show. Yeah. I listen to the podcast. You know, I'm a, I'm a biggest fan. But I, don't know today is old. <laughs> I never know the name of this segment. Well, I was so this year's fun... old when. Now I'm going to have to do this from memory. Because I don't oh, actually didn't you know it was on. for it. No, because it's from no, your brain. No. It's from my brain, but I don't have. Not <laughs> someone hasn't. Gemma, my mind hasn't dot pointed it down for me. So I'm. I'm going to have to just do it. You know, ad lib. Watch this. Okay. She's moonlighting in Sydney at the moment, <laughs> flirting with tradies. I know. <laughs> yeah, we had a Gemma. There's tradies in the house. Focus. Kicking him walls down the hallways just to come and be like, "Hey, come fix this." Well, yeah, have you heard of this saying? Because I was today years old when I heard of this saying. Mm-hmm. Shoot your shot. I have heard it before, but I don't know what it means. So, I haven't heard it. Yeah, exactly. So, you're with me. No, but that's Does it mean not, you've had your turn? I'm saying that it's like not a saying. No, but like go, go, I haven't go heard for it. the tradie. Like, oh, I haven't heard it either. Go for the tradie. They said, oh, shoot your shot, Jeff. Shoot your shot. Get a go. Well, enjoy it, Gemma. Like, we'll be back in Melbourne in two weeks. No tradies <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah. Shoot um, your shot. Oh God! So here, here, how I was, I was this year's, I was today years old when. Dodo twenty four ten. If you have one, by the way. On the front, this is from this wonderful do- documentary I'm working on. The director, Casey, told me this. On the Tim front, can't wait till this documentary's over. I know. It's gonna, when I win Logies, I'm not going to thank you. Well, so on are the ABC front, shows nominated for Logies? Mate, they win Tom so Gleason many Logies. All the, or wins all the Logies for the I'm gonna win. I'm going to win a Logie for this show. <laughs> so on the front of a box of shapes, right? Oh, God, I hope this is Oh, good. I know what you're going to say. This is ridiculous. <laughs> the shape yep. behind the word shapes yeah. is the shape of the shapes. Yeah. Does what? that make sense? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, that's barbecue. so the shape behind the shapes yeah. is the yeah. shape of the shape. Yeah. 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 That's actually a correct sentence. Yeah, that's good. Are see? they all the same shape? Oh, no, oh, no, there's Jermaine. chicken. Oh, look, there's pizza. Oh, there's nacho oh, yeah. cheese. Oh, look, see, that's, that, that's the shape of a nacho cheese shape, but yeah. it's the white yes. background. Mm-hmm. Did you know that, yeah. um, Ricky? I've actually never paid attention to it, but I'm like, yeah, of course, of course. Oh, there you go, mind blown. Thank you, Joel. <gasps> it actually is quite amazing. Thank you. I'm really excited. There you go. No. Why are you acting all I've smug, I've never paid attention, you? and now it's blowing my tiny little brain. Look at that. That's a pizza It's a shape. pizza. Yeah. That's a cheese shape. Oh, I love a cheese. I love a cheese. Yeah, so much. Cheddar's square. They're not no, as good as that. Cheds, though. Oh, I love the a cheese. barbecue ched. ones. Gladys Berejiklian cleans the face with Cheds. <laughs> she's still with Optus? <laughs> I don't know, but I know she's mad for a Ched. She said it in an interview. She, she loves really a for Cheds every morning. She has a fistful of Cheds every morning before she leaves the house. <laughs> See, that's the kind of go. diet I want to be on. And she wipes them on her pants suit. <laughs> right. <laughs> Who's got a phone suit. bill? <laughs> Who's got a phone bill that needs fame? <laughs> <laughs> Who's got some data they want? <laughs> <laughs> Hand it out to the general public. I like that, Joel. Thank you. Today is The old. shape behind shapes is the shape of a shape. Yes, that's good. I like yeah. it. Very creative. Once as old as today is old. Today. Kate, Tim, and Joel. It's a Joel driving day. Ooh! Oh my gosh, it is too. That I hadn't even thought of that. First one of the year. It's the first thing I thought about when I woke up. Is, a, oh, is how much am I going to beat year. Joel today? <laughs> I don't think I've ever beat Joel. On screen. On screen. We haven't worked out a way to, you know, iron out the glossies yet. We'll do that. Okay. Yeah. yeah some of the ideas time. that came up. We so shouldn't have our end of year time. meeting at Joel's house next year. Like, I know. We did that on the, in the sun as well. I don't know why we sat on the balcony and did I'm pretty that. sure everyone had had maybe one or two beverages at the end. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah good idea. Yes. yes. Yeah, do that. Write it down. No one was writing anything down. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first glossy here. So this is Beyonce yeah, at is. the Atlantis Hotel in Dubai. She performed. She got paid like $35 million or something to do the performance and people are quite angry. Yeah. Because yeah. her... Uh, the, oh, First, her, one of her albums about five or ten, five or six, seven years ago it was all about her being a feminist. So people are all up, up in arms about that because in, in Dubai, yeah. women's rights are not the same as they are everywhere else. Mm. And then there's also people are really angry about this new album is very much about gay... The queer movement. Yeah, the queer yeah. movement and, and, and gay culture and it's just kind of... 
Yeah. Well, I think it's more <laughs> odd that Rebel Wilson and her wife chose to go. Yes. Well, that's the next glossy. Oh, Chris, okay. Chris, Chris, God, very quickly with Beyonce, there's a part of me though, like I, I'm more for people making money, right? But then when yeah. you can afford to take a stand, then there's probably a nice time to do it. And I think Beyonce can definitely afford to take a stand. Well, and she, she makes... Even 35 million, she can go, no, maybe, maybe it's not a good look. She doesn't bill really need it. That's kind of yeah. like, that's like 20 grand for her. <laughs> You know, she's like, oh, yeah, whatever. So true. Although she would right? love Nova's free for 23, obviously, a thousand bucks every week for the first year. For a year. <laughs> Not the first year. <laughs> for a whole year to spend on whatever you want. 52 whole weeks. There you go. Or is it 54? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no. Is it 51? No, no, because this week's this, No, this it's 52 done. weeks. It's $52,000. Someone oh, listens good. to the promos. No, no, I'm just, <laughs> so I'm just thinking we're giving it away on January 30. So I'm just confused. Oh, you think that January's... <laughs> it does anyway. always make me laugh when I hear on the promos that, and then tune in with Kate Timmons all for the prize. And it's like, we're the ones that know the least. <laughs> That's not true. I know heaps okay, about well, it. I'm the one that knows the least. <laughs> I don't know Speak for this yourself, one. girlfriend. The first promo of the year is a bit harder to get over the line. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. I sort of thought I thought we'd all go down with the shit, but that's all right. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. You're, you're spending too much time with the rot wigglers and pit bulls. Mate, I'm changing lives in Perth. Have there been any roddies? Oh, I've seen plenty of roddies. Oh, I love a lot of staffies. Oh, yeah. Lots of staffies. Yeah. Uh, next glossy mm. is Rebel Wilson. Um, do you know much about this one? Did you get a yeah, lip so she's, done? She, oh, she's she getting wow. she is getting slammed for um, going to Dubai um, because she is in a same sex relationship and accepting the tickets mm-hmm. and I imagine being paid to be there as well. Mm-hmm. Definitely, it's all because all over their um, their Instagram is all like the hashtag gifted hashtag ad and all yeah. of that kind of stuff. And I, want, she, I just wonder how much she got paid for it. She wrote something like. Like visibility matters or something like that. And I'm like, okay, girl. Yeah, a lot of the comments you on... Do you, you do you. And I hate the news stories become comments, but a lot of the comments are, um, they kill our kind over there. Why are you promoting this? This is mm. from one person. Mm. G-Rebel, <laughs> do you know that it's the death penalty in Dubai for homosexuality? Supporting mm. such a country is a really poor thing to do, especially as a member of our community. Mm. Well, she's, anyway. yeah, she sort of invited herself into our community and now she's, yeah. Mm. <laughs> nice Fendi dress, though. Let's, let's bring up the vibe. matching Fendi pants suit. Let's bring up the vibe now with our next glossy, please. Oh, God. I hope it is. Oh, up. Drake. Oh, yes. Drizzy, what's he up to? It's Drake, guys. I don't know what he's been doing, growing a beard. That's a solid beard. That's thick. I know. It looks That's like Skrillex. <laughs> have, you the new, have you seen Skrillex's new look? Yes, he's no. cut off his weird emo hair. Oh he looks like a real estate That's agent on dark. Selling Sydney or whatever that yes. show is. Oh, Lux Listing. <laughs> it does look, Skrillex looks like he should be on Lux Listing. Look at him. He's, uh, he's oh almost wow. hot. He is almost no, cute. I miss, Skrillex. I miss Skrillex, like emo <laughs> Skrillex, yeah. Uh, anyway, found at a Drake concert at the Apollo Theatre in New York, got so excited during his show that he fell off the balcony at the gig. The fan was fine as he was caught by a player from the New York <laughs> Giants. Was that Skrillex falling? No, no. Awesome. Oh, no, just a fan it was Drake. of Drake. I just said that Drake oh, was my like God. Skrillex. <laughs> What? Oh my god, so that's someone falling from the sky. No, from the balcony, not from the well, sky. Well, you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. The, the sky for people yeah, standing It's a shooting on the, on, star. On the yeah, it's a man that's a shooting no, star. From I, the I know sky. someone ha- people don't fall from the sky. But... No, they don't. Or oh, Jesus does uh, or something. Oh, yeah. Doesn't he? Didn't oh, yeah. he do it at Easter? Uh, did this guy survive? <laughs> well, did he get, get in the rock? Was yes, that, he was caught that... by a, a, fa- a, a player from the New York Giants NFL team. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. That's the, pers- that's the person you want to fall on. The huge yeah. guy. I know, maybe the man mountain. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to fall on you next time I see you, Blackers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <please. laughs> and last glossy, how I love Gwyneth Paltrow. How brilliant no, is you do. Gwyneth Paltrow? Oh, is this a um? A, is that little gold razor thing? Oh no, this is about What's her that? Goop Valentine's Day list. Oh god! Oh, tell me. Okay, oh, there's... fifty thousand dollars shaver for your Goop. Yeah, well, she wasn't in Dubai. <laughs> uh, she's got to make money somehow. She didn't get invited to Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> uh, vagina scented candles are back. A uh, thirty-three thousand dollar diamond earring. Can I, can I ask? Do they actually smell like vaginas? Have you smelt the candle? Yeah, I've smelt one. Gwyneth's vagina candles are a classic. She's got to do it every year. Yeah, you know, classic. Bring it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. really want to smell the candle. No, well, let's get it. you one. Let's get you one. Let's get me a candle. I want to actually smell it. We'll all smell it and we'll see if it actually smells like vagina. Or I'll take you down there after the show. <laughs> <laughs> 
presented by Candle. Or just wind my windows down as I leave the studio. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, some rose quartz checkers and 40 vibrators, including two that you wear as a necklace. There you go. Oh, oh that's nice. Good to have on you at all times. Big day around the corner. <laughs> a B day. You're gonna fly away. Dad, you're going my Is Kate, Tim, and Joel yes. on Nova? Oh yeah! After knockoff time, I mean, maybe too early in our working week and working year to put our tools down now. Or do we want to set the standard for the year and make it a party? Year? But you know, tomorrow's like Friday because we have Thursday off. Oh, amazing! All right. So do we put tools down tomorrow? Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow. Okay. So we're going to be on our best behaviour now. Yeah, that's right. Eyes up here. <laughs> hey, um, you know, we were talking about Beyonce getting, what, $30-odd million dollars for Dubai. I'm very sorry. 5.5. I'm going to throw a little game your way because you know how sometimes we love knowing what people get for their corporates? Yeah. I'm going to yes. throw some big names at you and you've got to guess what they got oh, for their okay. private show. Amazing. Oh, yeah, I love that. coming up in a second. I'm looking forward to this. Kate, Tim and Joel. That's sweet, mate. Let's kiss when a little like this and twist. <laughs> Who sings like this? this? Kesha and 303, is that right? Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so long! Well, Kesha I hope you had some hits. Turn it up, Kesh! <laughs> Sorry, Wacky Joel. Wacky any kiss, I should say. Joel, Ricky I'm and the girls are loving it. I like that. So, oh my god, you're going for it. No. Oh, I'm so um, glad I have a ponytail right now so I can whip it. I know. I like your high pony. <laughs> it's so now, this hot woman, in here. I had to put it up. Oh, it's so hot in here. I'm, I'm glad no one's fixed that. There's 900 tradies in here at the moment. No one's fixed oh, the aircon. Yeah. What oh, are they doing? Get please. your hot tradie friend to come in here and help the aircon get colder. Yeah, girls, go and sweet talk one of your tradies. Oh, they probably knocked off. It's after five. I'm going to go of drop course. something in the hallway. Watch this. <laughs> You'll have to come back at 7 a.m. when they start. Yeah. 7 till 1. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> Ask Fitzy and Whip to do it. Yeah, do, it. Do, um, do something with Fitzy and Whip in the morning. Plug idle or whatever it is you do when you're not in here. I think I might be doing something with Fitzy and Whip next week. Uh, get a bit of Just, on you know, when I was filling in for Whip I ones, you did... I can speak to other people, you know. You did hide and sing when I was on the show, remember I that? I did, that's right. <laughs> What's this hide and the sing? The stupid things they've made me do on oh, that show. When Whip was off having one of his babies. I stood in a cardboard I... box yeah. in the corner of the studio and they made me sing a Whitney Houston song. Yeah. And, and like, then you had to guess who it was. I'm like, I like as if you were me. Oh, my God. <laughs> you could smell you, my perfume. What were you flogging at the time? <laughs> I saw a big oh, trench coat hanging over one of the chairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and heaps of liquid. Yeah, yeah. Nine cans of V in the hallway. I think that's Ricky. Ricky's definitely <laughs> I don't here. need to hear the voice. Um, this woman, right, this ER story, she's saying she needed surgery after yeah. her date bit through her tongue during a passionate first kiss. That's a so bit they're too passing, passionate. And he's bitten, like, not just a bit of her tongue, he's bitten through her tongue. I have oh. no idea how to pronounce her name. I think it's Cedar Ursoy. Oh, Cedar Ursoy, took- yeah, yum. Yeah, <laughs> she took, this smells like a candle. She took to social media from hospital to, oh, sorry, she's not in that much pain, to post a video of a surgeon stitching her tongue oh, well, back if, if it's not up. on socials, it didn't happen. Of course you're going to happen. Do it. Following oh my the snog. goodness! Oh, she I claimed to see her it. date. Oh, you want? Oh no, you love that. Song. I want to see it like gaping open. I want to see the gushing with blood. That's what I want to see. Blood. Well, she reckon she reckons he split it open. Well, he just mm. chomped down on her like, tongue. Chomped down on her tongue. Well, like, tea, it's one of those things, isn't it? It's like if it's used properly, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Not used well, we properly. Bad. <laughs> well, we always talk about this. What's worse, a tight kisser or a sloppy kisser? No, a tight kiss is the worst. I think tight little is worse. Like that's just like a little cat's bum. A little cat's you know what, you know bum kiss. No wrong. one wants that. Well, but then that a big sloppy is, kiss. You know, at least you can. There's something to work something with to work there. With, yeah. You yeah. know, you can just, just yeah, really you like can tighten that up. <laughs> turn on your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! We just go, oh. oh, you know what? This is over. <laughs> Sometimes I give Jack a sloppy kiss, like as a joke. Yeah. And he hates it. I wish I hadn't. Do you guys pash? 
Like, you oh, know, we're, we're no. like not leading to anything, just a pash. <laughs> no, we don't. And I said, and I have actually said to him, you know, we can pash without having to lead somewhere, but he doesn't believe that. He doesn't understand that as a concept. Yeah, like, yeah but we don't. In the hallway, we're not like a loser. <laughs> no, but we're not PDA people. No, but I'm no. not saying PDA, I'm saying it just at home. No. Nah. Or just like sitting on the couch watching the news, having a pash. I don't know. Like, I'm asking, <laughs> do you? Do you have a little pash? Well, Peter Over well, CNN's again, on. You know I mean? Oh, well, pash me, baby. <laughs> do you pretend you're at Hoyt's Lux? And just... No. No, we've been together too long for that. All right. Yeah, we get it. You've yeah. done well. Um, um, maybe you haven't mean I've done, done well. We haven't oh, we've been, been together, together too long. For that long that you don't gay kiss years, anymore. In gay years, in gay they've gay been years. together 49,000 years. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Forever. No. Pashing takes, and also, pashing requires fresh breath. Whereas a little, you know, you can have had a big garlic or something. Little cat's bum kisses yeah, yeah, for yeah. any time of day. Actually, yeah, what do we call Jermaine bum- again? What do we call Jermaine from uh, Sex in the City? Oh, Shay Diaz. Shay Diaz. Shay Diaz. Shay Diaz. This is how, why you guys have been together a long time. Shay was telling me that uh, he was at a, uh, I'm sorry, well, they won't mind me saying this, at a, a, a gay venue in Perth over the break. And, oh, I saw all over he, his Instagram. And he was like, he met a guy and was like, oh, this is fun. And so I'll go and get us some drinks. And by the time he came back with the drinks, he was macking on with two other people. Oh, no. So, so you oh, and Jack have been together like billions of years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your your, your relationship is older than some trees in Tasmania. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cut you open and count the rings. And you've got to be careful in Perth as well because there is only three gays, so you can't go through them too quickly. Oh, you reckon it's a real, uh, real uh, emo kind of young, piercing, tattoo gay scene there oh. in Perth. Yeah. Oh, Connections Nightclub is popping. I man. love it's Connections. Really fun. Yeah, it's quite fancy. Has it been renovated? Yeah, it's been renovated. Beautiful um, rooftop terrace looking at the city. I might pop in on the weekend. Might just I check might, all the drag might, queens are up the code. I might pop over to just come see. Oh, my God, please. I need some company here. It's just me and my mum fat-shaming me. at a gay me. club. Hey, Bo, how you doing? Hey, Jenny. Oh, sorry, there's someone on the line. Yeah, no, Bo's on the line. Hey, Bo, Hi, did Bo. your date end up in the AR? Yes, it did. Yeah, go for it. What happened? So, me and my brother-in-law, we went out on a little bromance. No idea. Yeah. Nice. And uh, we do this quite regularly, so we've we've run out of restaurants to try. So we <laughs> Are you seeing your brother-in-law? Yeah, <laughs> 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 beg your pardon? Nothing, nothing to do. Yep. <laughs> Tell a long story short, uh, we decided to try seafood. Um, he'd never tried seafood, so it ended up in the ER. He was allergic to prawns. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh right. Gosh. <laughs> in the ER after some seafood. <laughs> oh, yeah, shellfish. Are you in Brisbane by any chance? <laughs> George's? Is it George's seafood? George's. George, where they put everything on rice? George's, like, I can yes. have prawns without a bed in, of white rice. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, I used to love that. You know, you, know, you can see. Of course you did. No, you still of course it. you I did. You serve rich. prawns without two kilos of white rice. No, you know that, I'm just right? like the creamiest sauce. I took oh, Rich there, love- who's from Melbourne, and I took him to this place on the Gold Coast. It's so average, George's. And I said, this is the <laughs> best steak you'll ever have. <laughs> Like, oh. I want to break up with you. This is terrible. And it was just drowned yeah. in Diane sauce and a little oh. bit of rice. Diane sauce. <laughs> those, yeah, those rice where they put it in the mug and then they flip oh. it over. Oh, and it's like, yeah. oh wow. All right, Don't. thanks, Bo. Hey, we're going to play a little game with uh, corporate fees next. Well, I think I'm going to be good at this. I'm going to fall on you next time I see you black as... <laughs> well, please. Kate, Tim and Joel, driving you home on Nova. I used to think it was the sights, the sounds, the smells. It's not. The spells. Oh, I know. What an album, what a band. The Red Hot Chili Peppers are in the country. Post Malone's coming to Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne and Perth with them on the Australian Tour. Tickets still on sale from LiveNation.com. We have your tickets with Joel Jiva very soon. Kicks off in Brisbane on Sunday. It's the 29th. Is that right? Wow. Great film clip too. Um, I might be chatting to Flea tomorrow on the phone, by the way. Ooh. You might be. Has yeah. He's still not confirmed, or are you being. Well, it, it's kind of confirmed, shy. isn't it? We need to find me uh, having Flea call my mum on air in Perth asking if I was breastfed. Can we do that? Or can you guys do that? 
Did she do that one? Wasn't that the Chili Peppers was the, your first interview, right, in Perth? Is that uh, right? Nova 937, where yes. Joel is now, yeah. They launched in this, Nova in this Perth. Studio, we recreated right? that cool photo That's, last year oh, <laughs> when we right. went on tour. We did. Yeah, how things have gone downhill from the Chili Peppers to Ricky Lee and Joel. <laughs> no, no you, you stuck around a lot more. Uh, yeah, they're oh, going to be okay. huge. Go and see them. And Post Malone, by the way, as well. Oh, wait. Chat Smith, go. Uh, Post Malone live, too. You've you got to see him. And from what I'm hearing on this tour, so he's he's not just supporting. He's properly yeah, okay. doing a Post Malone show. Yeah. Kate, Tim and Joel. Now, what did Beyonce get I got for her. Dubai? Um, $35 million? $35 million. Okay, great. Yep. So we'll put that to one side. Okay. One okay. of the funny things, we, we like to do, do this off air is work out what people get paid for things. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I, I know. I, I, I heard that Daryl Braithwaite, um, you can book him for a gig. Well, I know this, so I can't. I won't say I'm that. Not gonna, I'm not going to respond. Yeah, yeah, but just uh, just, just before we get into the real ones, yeah. the, he'll do it for, say, let's just make up a figure, say 10000 bucks. but if you want horses, it's 20000 bucks. I did a, oh, I did wow. a gig with Daryl in <laughs> yeah. Perth, yeah. and Daryl, I swear to God, sang horses for 25 minutes. That's great, why not? <laughs> and everyone <laughs> was pumped everyone for it. Yeah. yeah. I went to a Hawthorne team dinner after they won one of their premierships. You know, they did three back-to-backs, I can't remember which year. And uh, mm. they, they got him out at the team dinner to do horses. It was amazing. It's the best. Go Hawks. Yes, Joel. <laughs> oh, I was just going to say, remember when um, Shane Jacobson's um, diary leaked to the media <laughs> and everyone could see what he was getting paid for his corporate gigs? Oh, yeah, there was the, the lawsuit, wasn't it? Yeah, the, the blow up with his manager. See, I love those kinds of things. I really comb through those articles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're getting bank. Yeah. All right. But overcharging, under delivering. Yeah. So let's just go, let's kick off with JLo. Okay, JLo. Oh. She, in 2016, she was paid to perform at a wedding by a Russian billionaire's son. She had four songs with backup dancers. Uh, none of those photos are from the party, obviously. No. Um, how much did she get paid? Oh, see, I don't want so to understand. she's got the whole shoot. shebang. Back four up songs. Dances. Four songs. Oh, we'll, go be- we'll go best of five. We'll make it a game. Closest. Just the closest. And just go, just go round million. numbers. Oh, am I texting you? or No, just say it. Oh, okay. Because I've heard go... that her, just her hair and makeup bill is a couple hundred thousand. It was 2016. I'm going to go 20 million. What? I'm going 20 million. 20 million for four songs. Jesus Christ. No, it's 5 million. Yes. So we'll give that one to Ricky. We'll give that one million. For, that's uh, over five a million, million a song. That's not bad. Mm. Uh, okay, an unknown millionaire once paid the Eagles to play one song. Oh, that's God, Hotel California at a party in New York. So just this song. The band, because how much did they get paid for one song? A million. Mm. Oh, that was what I was going to say. I'm going to say 1.5 million. Six million. Oh, I'm the closest. That's the band amazing. earned almost a million dollars a minute. Oh. So did Joel oh get that? God. I'm yeah. actually salivating at the thought of that because I know what I get paid for corporate gigs and it is not that much. <laughs> a million a minute? <laughs> a million oh a minute. God, I wish. So go, Hi, guys. How's it going? What's your hourly rate? Oh, oh my God, nowhere near that. I'm, not, I'm available. <laughs> okay, 20, 2005, Aerosmith played at a bar mitzvah of the daughter of a billionaire. The I've done plenty of bar mitzvahs and they're really? not for this much money. A condition of the performance yeah. was that David's nephew, this is the billionaire, had to play drums during the, the performance. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> So what do you think you got? Uh, they got paid. How many songs again? Um, how many songs? Just a set. Yeah, I and mean, also, why would you get Aerosmith for? Because Bar Mitzvahs are thirteen-year-olds, aren't they? Yeah, but maybe the kid grew up and they, they were really into the music because Dad was into the music true. or something like that. Yeah, true. What do you I'm, think? I'm gonna say ten million. I'm gonna say five million. Yeah, Joel's closest, is two point nine. Oh, I'm so glad I went with my car. This is just the wild, wild west. It is wild. It's wild. Right. And now it's even more crazy when our Dubai is involved. Yeah. <laughs> like, we hold my beard, Dubai is saying. Yeah. 35 million Yeah, thanks. let me show you how this is done. <laughs> yeah, and Beyonce, who hasn't performed in five years. No. I know. Oh, well, she has. Bones that's got actually not true because she performed at, like, the Oscars because she did that. She was nominated for an Oscar and she oh, did the right. King Richard film and all of that. Oh, that's true. She okay. just gets blue ivy up, which I'm like, step oh, aside, sister. That. Let your mum be the queen. Oh, I hate that. Oh, no. But it's not Blue Ivy's fault. She's a toddler. <laughs> but also, no, what she's Blue like Ivy wants to be like a teacher or an accountant or something? She's really not getting a say in the matter. Oh, no. I think when Jay-Z and Beyonce are your parents. Oh, I just feel bad because the other two kids really don't get a look in. Oh, the two Rumi, other, I didn't even know yeah, Oh, my God. Twins. I didn't know there were two others. She's got twins. Rumi is the girl and Sir. Are they Sir ugly? Carter. Is that why? <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't I say just, it. Hey, I you can't monetize it. them. I think it was Tom Petty's last Grammys before he died, and Tom Petty was sitting behind Blue Ivy. <laughs> like, you know oh, what? yeah. Like, isn't that a lot? Like, come on, mate. Tom Petty. Icons only. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, two more. I would freak out, though, if I saw Blue Ivy in the fresh up. I'd be like, hey, Blue Ivy! Hey, <laughs> Okay, Bruno oh, Mars. 2021, yeah. Motorola CEO Greg Brown. Welcome to Brown Town. <laughs> He paid Bruno Mars to play at his son's wedding for how much? He played uh, Just The Way You Are, Uptown Funk, and Marry Me. Five what million. Year? Marry You. What year was it, sorry? Six, recently? Uh, 2021. Ooh. Hello, Ooh. I'm going to say four million. Okay. I'll say five. You're so close, Joel. 3.2. Oh. Oh, I've got on corporate. Joel's won where, this. Where does the point two I come know. from? Like, where, just round it up. Yeah, but expenses maybe. Yeah. Um, the manager. Stuff. Maybe that's like their 20% to their manager. Oh, yeah. And Goes finally, in 2002, the Stones paid to perform a private equity show for a billionaire, David, whatever, his six years birthday party. Yeah. Uh, it was a 40 minute set, Hard Rock Cafe in Vegas. Yeah. A private equity billionaire. Uh, how much in 2002? The Rolling Stones. I'm terrible at this. What are you saying? 10. I'm going 10. with 10 million. 15. 18.7. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Nice work if you can get it, am I right? Oh. Sure, you never think it's next. Lucky ducks. The first Joel Jiving of the year around the corner. Kate, Tim, and Joel. Joel Jiving time. Ah! First of 20. 20- 23. Thanks, DJ Alligator. Uh, I've we got have... my um, cordless mic today. Oh, oh look at you go. Freddie Mercury's in town. <laughs> no, You're ready to put your back into it. Uh, we have tickets to the Chili Peppers Post Malone, Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne and Perth. Tickets on sale from livenation.com.au. Oh, That's a great it's good time. to have gigs back. They're in the country, of course, Sunday at Brisbane. In, at Brisbane. Two gigs in Sydney, <laughs> Thursday, Feb 2, Feb 4 as well. Uh, Melbourne, two shows, two, 7th of Feb, 9th of Feb, and then Perth off the stadium, February 12th. No Adelaide shows. Oh, oh Adelaide. Hey, Harry, you like the Chili Peppers and Post Malone? For sure. Good. Joel is playing for you, Harry. Good luck. Oh, I'll be yeah, the Megan Juicy Joel, Harry. let's do this. Thanks, Harry. Juicy Joel. Wow. Juicy Joel. Yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> I'm a bit Stacey, you're up. at the moment. Post Malone, Chili Peppers, you're pumped. Ricky's playing for you. I have hey, Stacey. Good, good feeling about you. Yeah, you got this, Ricky. Thanks, Boo. Thanks, Boo. Oh, rack okay. off, Stacey. Oh, isn't this great? Is that Ranger Stacey and Harry Connick Jr.? I, <laughs> I felt like Ranger Stacey the last few weeks filming this documentary. <laughs> really? Never mind. Never mind. I don't know why I brought it up again. <sighs> oh. I kind of look like her today, too, in my You've got your shirt. khaki on. I was going to wear a khaki shirt today. Whoa. You know, I'm going to be able to see Whoa. us. Oh, hey, Stacey. I oh, know people are about to see you with your hair. <laughs> You're like, hey! No, the You're benchmarks are all going behind. up on socials apparently, so they're going to see this. <laughs> <laughs> are you, all our games are going up on the Nova player. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not on socials. Oh, I thought I was listening. The girls to gave you a right. no deal. <laughs> oh, the girls, they're not on my side. What's the theme of this week's Joel Jivert? Well, because so many people are coming, right? It's with mm. Chili Peppers Post Malone. They're here on Sunday, don't. Okay. Uh, it's the on their way artist. Don't. <laughs> on their way artist. So dad of you. People are here. Well, after Ricky's stuff yesterday, I'm like, come on, guys. So many people are coming. An what? Hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by period drama? <laughs> okay. Oh, I love that you boy. know where my brain is going before I open oh, my mouth. I know. You just see my eyes go. <laughs> <laughs> the Venga Boys are coming to Australia in February. Remember, of course. Oh, Joel won the toss. Joel won the toss. I won the toss. Oh. First to three. I'll play a song if people are new to this. Uh, you need to sing the next line. No points for spoken <laughs> words. Venga Boys are coming. Whoa, 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 let's have some fun. Whoa, whoa, what? Me and you. Whoa, whoa, boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room to spend the night f- together from now until forever. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. I love you so much. This is the delay oh, in Perth is so The delay in Perth hit my funny bone. <laughs> I'm in Perth, so I'm like, I, I'm a... I'm a second behind you guys, which means I can't really sing along. No, and it's so good hearing you sing along in delay. <laughs> oh, no. So I don't need anything working against me in this game. Oh, that was brilliant. I love it. Thank I've you. missed Thank that you. so much. One to you, Joel. First to three. Okay, Ricky, you're next. Okay. This band, this band, as I mentioned, here. 
now, oh, starting this. Sunday. Flea on the show tomorrow. Oh, I hope it's a song. Flea on the show tomorrow. You'll know this. You'll know this. She sees my good day. She kisses the wind. I never worry. Now that is a lie. Five, six, seven, eight. I don't ever want to feel like I did that day. So take me to the place I love. Yes. Take me all now the way. Oh, rock and roll, Ricky. Yeah. Like rock it out. I got really scared just then. <laughs> As I said, I Sunday at Suncorp Stadium. What a great place to see a gig. That's kicking off Chili Peppers Postman Line. LiveNation.com.au has your tickets. We've got them to give away. How are your stays? It could be you. Okay, Dial, you're next. So One point eight. This, game. this is interesting. I wonder you'll either know this or you really won't. And I can't believe cool. they're here. They're here in March and April. It's the Counting Crows. Oh. <laughs> Come on, you know them. <laughs> what a song! <laughs> Someone. Mr. Soberpy. <laughs> Mr. Soul and me. <laughs> Is that it? It's like, what are you One more, one more. Mr. What do you say, Mr. What? Mr. Soul and... Soul, soul, soul. (laughs) Okay, I'll give it to... Let Ricky have a go and then I'll see who's right. Um, Okay. I don't know the words. I don't know the title. (laughs) you say Mr. Soap and me? Mr. Soul. Like, he's got soul. Oh, like, hey, soul sister. I only know the first line. Is that enough? Mr. Jones and me. Yes, yes. Well, I got Mr. Right, didn't I? <laughs> Mr. Soul. It's the song called Mr. Jones. Soul and me. I didn't know that. Oh, what a song. Because the whole rest of the other song to me sounds like... That was when, when songs had lyrics. Oh. <laughs> oh, pop music these days no. isn't what it used to be. Well, I love this. And yeah. Ricky, you're next. This is for the win. You'll get this. This is huge. These guys, can you believe it? Here, February, March, Perth. We're talking about Backstreet Boys. <gasps> Perth, Feb 25. I mean, February, honestly, it's jam-packed. Is, is frothing. Um, mm. Melbourne, okay, 28th okay. and the 1st of March. Then you've got Sydney, 4th and 5th of March. Brisbane, 8th of March. And Adelaide for Backstreet Boys. I toured with these guys in 2010. <gasps> Oh, well, this is yep. unfair. Yep. Did they speak this to you? Unfair. Yeah, I Did got they? to. Yep, yep. AJ. Sometimes when when they when you have touring artists, they don't speak to them. That's no awesome. AJ and Howie. I I spoke to. They would stood and watch my my set a yeah. couple of, at, in a couple of cities, which was really cool because AJ was my favourite. <gasps> he was so Did hot with all his tattoos. He's got the goatee. Yeah, he's the one with all the tattoos. Did he's you, the bad boy. With any of them? No, I was with them? Rich. Oh, was okay. with. I'm still with. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, it didn't, didn't, didn't. What's do the other work? one that went to space? Oh, no, that's the Insync boy. Don't worry. Um, like, here we go. <laughs> oh, Lance Bass. Lance. Yeah, Lance Bass. Isn't he your friend, John? Hey, he's a friend of Dorothy. Yeah. Oh, he's a friend of Dorothy. What does that mean? Mm-hmm. Friend of hey. Dorothy. Friend of Dorothy. Oh, I don't really know where the saying comes from, but I think it's Wizard of Oz based. Okay. I'll take a, a shot. Of, take a shot. Oh, no. A friend of Dorothy is a. Okay, uh, this is for the win, Ricky. Shot. Basically, that means a shoot shot. <laughs> that means this is for Stacey to win the tickets to the oh, Chili sorry. Peppers and I Post Malone. I love this song. This is the fame. All right. People, can't you see, can't you see How your love's affecting our reality One more. Every time you're down, you can make it right And that makes you yeah. larger yes, than life Oh, yes, amazing yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I wanted to clap along, but it would be completely out of time Stacey, well done, post my check, that was sick to yours We'll see you tomorrow. Fitzy and Ripper next. Kate, Tim and Joel is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.